What's going on guys? Welcome back to Performance on Wheels. In today's video, I got some stuff I gotta get done, but we're gonna try to change the interior stitching color of the CTSV. And I bought some new wheels for it, so we're gonna try to clean those up and see how they look. I actually just got back from Road America, so quick recap in three, two, one. Hey everybody! <laughs> Scary track for a lot of drivers, actually. <laughs> no, not turn 14, and it's turn 11, the kink that is truly terrifying. Sounds like we're gonna drive them. It was in 2020 that the CAR hit the track for the IMSA season. It's like this, you can talk to the crews, meet some people. Here are the new wheels for the V. These are actually winter wheels that I bought from somebody. So, I mean, they aren't in the greatest of shape, but I got them for 200 bucks. The bolt, bolt pattern on the V is super rare. It's a six lug on a car, which is incredibly rare. I think it's actually the only production car ever built with this bolt pattern. So we're gonna clean them up, see if they look good and we wanna keep them, or if we're gonna post them for sale. I haven't actually introduced you guys to this car yet. This is my daily driver. I got a 2001 Lexus GS 300 with a 2JZ GE engine. Great daily driver, great gas mileage, and it's really cool that it has a 2JZ. So if you guys wanna see any videos on the car, mainly because of the engine, let me know. But either way, we have to move it out of the way so we can get the V down. And down she comes. I actually got some things to add some horsepower to the V, so let's see how they look. They make it too easy to put those stickers on these days. What can I say? It never gets old. I need to get stuff to clean the wheels. I've used this stuff a couple of times and it works great. You know, these things, these things actually don't clean up half bad. They don't actually clean up half bad. They, uh, they look pretty good. So, we'll list them for sale, see what happens. But it's time for the part you've all been waiting for. Let's see how this works. I got this thing off of CorvetteMods.com and it claims to change the stitching color on any light color stitching. So, it has extremely good reviews. Let's see how it works. We're gonna start in a spot that I'm never gonna see to see if it even works in the first place and then we'll go from there. I will link this down below in the description. I am doing yellow because the CTS V2, I have the V1, all of the accessory parts like the brakes and interior stitching, one of the main options is yellow and the most common. So we're gonna see how it looks on a V1. All of the instructions say is that you take off the cap Put, put it where you want it, and then you take a microfiber cloth and wipe around where you just put it on, and that's it. It looks like it comes with a finer side of the marker and a thicker side of the marker. I would assume that I'm going to be using the thicker side of the marker, and, well, let's give it a shot. There it is with two stitches in, and, well, I mean, it's doing exactly what it says. It is now yellow. Here is the difference on the before and after. It, it seems to work flawlessly. As I'm just following the instructions, it really does look pretty cool. It works great. Uh, the only thing is, is that this is going to be very time consuming. There is a lot of stitching in this interior. I am just absolutely drenched in sweat working on that inside of the car. As I have an all black interior, which I hate. I'm not a big fan of black interiors. And um, it's about 90 degrees out, like 80% humidity. I will probably see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Here is my before. As you can see, all white stitching. White stitching around the steering wheel. Got it on the back seats. I really am excited because I think this is really going to change the look of the interior. It'll make it pop a lot more opposed to just white and black. I'm about one hour in. I got the 
driver's seat done as well as the steering wheel. So here's what it looks like on the steering wheel. Here's what it looks like on the seat. Here's the before or after, before, after. So yeah, it doesn't it uh, it doesn't look bad at all. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not as vibrant as like factory stitching would be. However, I would say that it does definitely bring uh, a little bit more personality to a bland interior. I'm about an hour and 40 minutes in. I have almost the whole uh, area in the back seats done. I personally am making this look as uh, factory as possible. So I'm taking, you know, I'm moving the seat forward, getting all the stitching in there. I'm getting all the stitching on anything that can move anywhere. Uh, I, I'm taking the headrests out and getting even the under stitching in the front and the rear just to make it look like this was actually done factory and as professional as possible. And it's coming out really well. I'm really happy with it. It took me about two hours, but I'm done. I am so sweaty. That car is so hot in there. And uh, I'm super happy with the results. It really does look really good. I'm like, that's under $20 entire interior is redone however towards the end there i was getting really close to my marker running out of ink but uh it held through and i did the entire interior with one marker so i think it was like 19.95 uh plus shipping and it works great uh i rubbed a paper towel on it and it doesn't leave any residue so you should be fine with your white clothes on it uh, I, this is not a paid promotion whatsoever this was just simply me trying it buying it so i suggest trying it out it was a lot of fun um, if something happens, I'll leave something pinned in the comments in the future if something bad happens. But uh, other than that, well worth it. Have a great day, everybody. Subscribe, comment down below what color you're going to do. I think there's yellow, red, blue, white. Um, I don't remember the other colors, but those are the main that I remember. Link below. Have a great day.